welcome back to the channel. You're going to want to stick around and see this whole video. I'm Peter, and last Sunday I attended a cruise night hosted by the Optimist Club of Milton, Ontario, and I'll show you a map here and show you exactly where this is. But that night I got an opportunity to meet with a car owner of an original 1968 Camaro Z28. But what's unique is I got an opportunity to talk with a walking, talking encyclopedia of Camaros. And I got a chance to ask him specific questions, like, can you tell me how long have you owned the car? I own the car. And I even asked him, what kind of mileage on the vehicle? I it had. And after Peter shared everything about Camaros and all the details and critical things that you're gonna wanna know, I got an opportunity to photograph that. If you find this video helpful or entertaining, I'd ask you to go ahead and hit the like button. That way I'll know this is the type of content that you want to see more of. And that tells YouTube that they should push this video out to more car enthusiasts and car photographers just like you. And you're going to want to subscribe to this channel because I'll show you step by step how I edited everything, all the pictures that I took and turned it into a studio quality photograph. And you can tap into the same unlimited supply of classic cars, muscle cars, and even the odd supercar when you travel and visit all the local car shows. So go ahead and buckle up. We're gonna meet Peter. Hey, I'm with Peter here on a 1668 Camaro Z28. Right. And uh, Peter wants to give you a little bit of history on the car and tell, tell us what this car is all about. Okay, well, uh, I dis discovered the car at uh, the Steve Plunkett show, uh, I think 12 years ago. It was out, sitting out in front and um, Make a long story short, <laughs> I bought it within 15 minutes without telling my wife, and I got terrible trouble for it. But anyway, I'm glad I did. The car is a very well. Rare, at least um, the the le at least it looks like the wounds have have healed oh yeah, somewhat. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's a uh, it's a, a rare car actually because they only made so many '68 uh, Zs, and it's a documented Canadian car. Uh, it came out of Perth Motors. If you notice the the sticker on the trunk, um, it's uh, I think it's had four owners. Uh, but I've restored the undercarriage and turned it into a beautiful car. Um, it's a real 302 MO motor with the Muncie uh, four-speed M22 rock crusher, four, five, six, 12-volt posi in the oh. rear. It's got the uh, front disc brake, AM radio, and uh, has the front and rear the D80 option spoilers, which uh, cool. came on the 68s and 9s. And it has standard black bucket seat interior. I added the console gauges because I think they look cool. Yep. Um, the car itself is uh, it's a rust-free car. The paint on it, believe it or not, if you look at it, it looks great, but it's 40-year-old paint. So, and the stripes, everything are correct. Um, the car has a Gardner exhaust, which is exactly what GM did back. The whole car is actually the way GM put it out back in the day in, in, in uh, 1968. The car was delivered new to Perth Motors in February, um, I think it was May 5th in uh, 68. And um, uh, the red line tires are okay, they're period correct, but they're radial tires. The car actually came with Goodyear white letter polyglass tires, uh, which right. I have. Polyglass, yeah, yes. I remember those terms. And the car has the factory DF stamp wheels, they're 15 by 6 rally wheel, cool, which um, are correct for the car. Um, what else does it have? So can you tell me how, how long have you owned the car? I've owned the car 12 years. 12 years. And what kind of mileage on the vehicle? I, it had 36,000 original when I bought it. I have 51 something on it now. Nice. So I drive it. But um, it's no point having it sit in the garage and looking at it. That's right. I enjoy my vehicle. I agree so, 100%. So anyway, that's uh, that's uh, about it. And uh, like I said, I have a couple of other cars that I like. I like first gen Camaros. But this is my baby because it's it's so rare. Yeah. And it's a it's a, to me it's a nice color combo. It's a, called Matador Red, correct paint code, and uh, black interior. And, you just uh, you, and you know I, I appreciate this because you don't know all that stuff just walking around a show. Well, at I'm, the cars. A, I'm a Camaro enthusiast. Yeah. Trust no, me. I love them. And good uh, choice. We have a lot of our friends in the area where I'm from. We all drive first gen Camaros. We love them. Nice. So, um, and we do our restoration work. We do, we have three people. My brother does the engine work. There's a friend of mine uh, who has uh, two first-gen Camaros. He does interior, headliner, anything to do with uh, with uh, uh, 
sewing and stuff like that. He does that and metal work and everything. And I do the welding because I'm that's my forte. I do body cool. me, uh, metal welding and, nice. and stuff like that. So we save a ton of money on restoration costs Beautiful. because we do our own yeah. work. Yeah. So. So Peter, I appreciate it. it. I'm going to get a couple of those inside shots on the video. Oh, absolutely. And then as soon as we get a little sundown and we get yeah. the right light, I'll okay. be here to do uh, a full photo shoot. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate it. Okay, and uh, have a good show. Oh, yeah. And we'll take it from here. Okay, man. Thanks. Thanks very much for your time. A big thank you to Peter. I really appreciate all the information. I hope you did too. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care. Talk real soon. <laughs>